hello hi in this video i will show you the basic mongodb tutorial i will focus how to set up mongodb on your computer actually you can also uh, access mongodb through uh, online which is uh, you can uh, Access MongoDB Atlas, but in this video, I will focus on how to set up on your computer. Okay, this is the uh, things that I will show to you. Okay, firstly, uh, how to download the installer MongoDB installer. Right after that, install the MongoDB installer and followed by how to run mongodb to run the mongodb we can uh, choose either through command prompt or mongodb compass let's roll it okay firstly to download the mongodb installer okay go to uh, mongodb website or you can just Google it. MongoDB. Okay. Then enter MongoDB. dot com. Okay. You can uh, you access the MongoDB. Then go to software. Okay. Here. You can uh, choose several uh, options. You can access through cloud or on premise. Okay, in order to uh, access uh, through cloud, you can access MongoDB Atlas. Okay, for uh, offline version, you can access, you can download the installer. Okay, there are two types of uh, installer here. Okay, you can choose MongoDB Enterprise Server or MongoDB Community Server. Press download MongoDB Community Server. The the difference between uh, MongoDB Enterprise uh, Server and Mo Community Server is uh, Enterprise Server maybe you need to it is um, meant for enterprise so uh, it might uh, need to uh, advance subscription for the free version you can uh, try mongodb community server okay press the download so before download you can pick uh, the version so maybe uh, pick the current version as recommended here and uh, your platform and type of uh, package okay press download okay after uh, the, your installer finish has been downloaded then open your uh, installer Okay, it run. <coughs> okay, enter the setup for the installer. Okay, uh, accept the terms. Click next. Okay, you can uh, choose either one complete version or custom in case you need to. Uh, uh, I recommend you. Uh, press complete rather than uh, custom the custom you can uh, select which one you want the component or which one you do, did not uh, want so i recommend uh, you to press uh, complete okay so this uh, set uh, the next page uh, show the service configuration so um install mongodb as a service 
Okay, you just uh, uh, accept what has been uh, recommended here. Press next. Or otherwise, you can specify the data directory. Okay. So uh, this directory is very important. Then uh, um, you need to um, notice about this directory because, uh, especially for the command prompt, you need to know the location of the MongoDB installer in your PC. Okay, As stated here. Then uh, press next. There you go, and then one check install MongoDB Compass. Okay, because we want uh, also want to use the MongoDB Compass. Okay, press next, then install. That's it. Very easy. Wait until you finish. Okay, there you go. Here we go. Uh, already finish uh, install. Okay, uh, after after it uh, finish, it will open instantly open uh, MongoDB Compass. But uh, we hold this uh, MongoDB Compass for a while. We we uh, I will focus on command prompt. How to run MongoDB through command prompt? Okay, to open uh, MongoDB or run MongoDB uh, via via command prompt, you need to open the directory that we uh, that we already uh, store store the MongoDB file. Okay. Yes. I uh, explained earlier. Okay, find the MongoDB uh, drive. Okay, example local disk profile MongoDB server the version 4.4 and bin. Okay, copy the ad this address. Okay. Open your command prompt cmd. Type uh, search cmd, then it will appear command prompt. Open command prompt. Okay, now go to the directory to the cd command and paste right by right click your mouse. I click the mouse, then I uh, will uh, paste the address of your location the MongoDB installer. You press enter. Okay, then uh, the directory will change to your uh, MongoDB installer, the bin, uh, bin uh, folder. Okay, now type Mongo. Okay, type mongo, M-O-N-G-O keyword. Press enter. Okay, now uh, your MongoDB uh, running. Currently running. Okay, so you can start uh, to do, uh, to use the MongoDB to command from. Okay, in order to uh, learn how to use MongoDB uh, through command prompt? You can uh, look at uh, MongoD uh, tutorial MongoDB by tutorial points, or you can find the other tutorial. Okay, 
Okay, let's see the basic of uh, MongoDB uh, command prompt. Okay, for example, Okay, you want we want to show the DB, the current DB. How many DB already in the has been created? Okay, example the code is shows. Uh, show DBS. Okay, here uh, it will list the uh, the. DB database has been created or we can use uh, create our own uh, DB example I want to uh, create new database okay the, the command is use my first DB Okay. Then um, type DB. Okay, this is uh, a new uh, DB just uh, created just uh, created just now, and it did the current active uh, DB. Okay, so you can uh, follow this uh, tutorial in order to use this uh, MongoDB through uh, command prompt. Okay, next I want to show how to use uh, MongoDB through MongoDB Compass. Okay, beside uh, you can access to among we uh, are common from we also can uh, use uh, through GUI graphic user interface the uh, provided by MongoDB. Okay, the user interface call it as MongoDB Compass. Okay, so this is the main. Uh, uh, interface okay firstly connect make a connection Okay, then uh, click connect. Here we go. Uh, this is uh, our uh, database. Okay, as shown in the command prompt. Uh, you can see uh, the list of the common prom uh, show in the common prom is uh, similar to our numbers of uh, database shown in a MongoDB compass. Okay, so uh, in the MongoDB compass, it provides uh, uh, more user friendly uh, interface compared to common prom. Okay, we can create database through the button. Okay, for example, as we can see in the green button, show the create database. Okay, for example, we want to create new database. My second DB. Okay, uh, provide one uh, collection name or table. 
we create database then we instantly create new database first for us in order to add the uh, information of, uh, inside into the database uh, select the our for db and uh, select our collection or we can add new collection here uh, or else uh, we want to add the document on the into the collection press the collection name so we can add the data here or import okay i think uh, you can uh, explore by yourself uh, the rest for the rest so that's all for my video thank you